Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Uh, right, another update for the Space Wolves. Uh, this is part of Jam Jar 34's Achievable April Challenge. I'm doing my best to get these done in April. Um, and I've been a very busy boy on these guys since you saw them last time. Uh, so now um, I've gone in and I've highlighted the gold. I've highlighted the silver. I've highlighted the leather and I've also highlighted the bone colour. So some great progress. I've also done a bit of work on the bases, uh, but I'll show you in a minute. Uh, first of all, let's get straight on to the actual models themselves. So just uh, zoom in a bit. So start off with the uh, pack leader. So I went in with the gold first. Um, on the gold I did, um, over the top obviously the base and the wash. I went in with Guy Hanna's gold. Um, I then went in with Uric Gold, and then a final highlight of um, one to two mix of Rufang Steel stroke Uric Gold. And uh, that's the results, very happy with how that's looking, you can see some effects there on the, the sword as well. Uh, you can see I've done the skulls, um, and then two little teeth, which are just on the sword there. Uh, so that was done with um, a bleach bone and then um, a mix of bleach bone and white, and then finally a, a white highlight. Uh, finish up the leather, as you can see just there. So that was done with um, snake bite leather and morphine brown, a one-to-one -one mix, and then a final highlight of snake bite leather. Just try to blend them in a little bit. Uh, so that was the leather, and then finally on the silver sections, um, I went in with the um, <clears throat> chainmail equivalent, whatever the new chainmail is called, um, Ironbreaker, that's the one, and then I went in with uh, Runefang still, just um, on the extreme edges where I thought the light would be hitting it. Um, so let's just uh, put him down, show you the others. So that's, if I can get it to focus. Here we see how she is. Okay, so on this one, again, did the gold and the silver. Uh, did that leather section just down his um, sword. So that was that one. This guy here. Did his horns. Highlighted those up. Obviously, again, all the gold and silver has been done. That's how his Empress, uh, sorry, Black Legion leg is looking. And his Space Wolves. So once again, even though I did highlight uh, the gold exactly the same for the Space Wolves and for the Black Legion, you can still see a difference in the gold uh, due just to basically washing uh, the golds with different colors. So this guy just here. So I highlighted his um, leather strap, just going around there. And then the gold on his chest plate. Also on the Emperor's Children backpack. It's highlighted all the silver up. That's that one. And then the final guy. Again, done his chest plates there and all the gold areas. Spinning him round, we've got the skull. And uh, at the back there, we've got those leather pouches. So that's him. And then on the guns. So that's the Space Wolf's last cannon. So you can see the metal work. It's fairly subtle, but it's... Uh, Clearly see it's, it's all highlighted. That's how they're looking. And then the Chaos Guns. This is the Empress Children one. I'll be doing some like weathering effects on these and a bit of rust and stuff as well. So they won't look quite as clean as they're looking at the moment. And that's the Black Legion one. So that is what I've been up to on the actual models. As I said, I've done some work on the bases. Uh, not too much, I basically just uh, primed them. So um, I, I turned them upside down first, and then I primed the, the 
uh, base is black because I like to have black on the bottom of my bases. Yeah, so I'm probably just fussy. Uh, and then I just turned them back the other way um, and then I primed them in this uh, grey primer ready to do my urban effects um, on them. So that's something else that I need to do as well. Um, and that's it. That is what I have been up to. So I'm really happy with my progress. Um, the next stage for me will be to, I'm going to go in now and do the, the faces, because I, well the face, I need to do the face on this guy here, um, and also some of the skulls and heads that are on the chaos guns, um, so I need to do that, and then I need to uh, highlight the pink, um, and there's uh, just a couple of little pieces of cloth on the chaos guns that need to be highlighted as well. Um, and then once I've done that, um, I'm ready to highlight the grey. So it's good progress, still a lot of work ahead of me, but um, it's coming on quite nicely. I am really happy with them. Um, and although I'm on a tight schedule, I'm still on target to hopefully finish these by the end of April, but we will see. That's it from me. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video.